Chapter 15 Parametric Mode The objectives of this chapter are to use the parametric mode to plot a family of curves for a parallel RCL tank circuit and to expand or compress waveforms for better viewing. One of the most useful circuits in the analog communications is the tank circuit of figure 15.1. It is a parallel resonance circuit that yields the impedance characteristics of figure 15.2. As shown by its response, it is a natural bandpass filter. However, for many applications, it is often convenient and informative to show the properties of a tank circuit as a family of curves, each with a different value of R tank. Such a plot is shown in figure 15.3 and is accomplished with a parametric sweep mode, the subject of this chapter. We analyze the tank circuit of figure 15.1 in the frequency domain using Kirchhoff's current law and complex numbers. The standard solution is to plot the circuit's impedance versus frequency. However, solving each such a simple circuit by hand is quite involved. Fortunately for some small values of R, such as the 25 ohm of the present circuit, we can approximate its solution in terms of the tank's resonant frequency, FR, and circuit selectivity, Q. The equations below show how BW, the bandwidth, and Z impedance at resonance are obtained from FR and Q. When we switch to parametric analysis, we will sweep our tank through 1, 10, and 100 ohms for a resonant frequency of 50.33 kHz. The following equations determine the circuit's Qs. The circuit in this chapter is a parallel RLC circuit, or a tank circuit as described in this chapter. We'll use a V sine source, sine wave source, to demonstrate how to use the AC sweep function in finding our Z versus frequency waveform. We have the values of the capacitor and the inductor and resistor already set. So we'll go and run, ed edit the simulation profile, start frequency on the AC sweep is 10 kilohertz, the end frequency is 100 kilohertz, and the points per decade is 500. And we click to make sure it's on decade, click apply and OK, and run the circuit. And as the simulation window pops up, we will use the dB function to find our frequency. So we add the trace and select the dB function and type in our formula, the V V source plus divided by I V source, about 20 kilohertz with a 93 decade. In the second half of this chapter, we'll diagram the parametric sweep of the same circuit, setting our values global parameter. Parameter name we'll use is our val for our value, and value list is 1, 10, and 100 for hertz. and we click apply and OK and run that circuit again. And you'll notice a message box pop up showing the three values 1, 10, and 100 and click OK.
and this will show the waveform of exactly the same thing the AC sweep does it's just a different method of doing it a different form parametric form instead of AC sweep so just type in the same formula V source plus divided by IV source and you'll see the same waveform another name for this also is a natural bandpass filter this is evident because most of the frequencies don't go through except for a few amounts which would be in the peak of this waveform and that concludes chapter 15